What's going on guys and welcome to episode 6 of my Back to Basics series. And as if you didn't notice already for the people who have been watching this series, um, I decided to just get rid of my intro video I had there because I figured that if you've made it this far already, you kind of know what I'm doing already. So it was kind of pointless to waste 30 seconds of your life rather than just get right into content. So, uh, like I stated in my last video, I received a free bond and the way I did that was with Google Opinion Rewards which is an app you can get from the Google Play Store on Android I'm not sure it's something you can get on iOS unless maybe you have an unlocked phone and figure a way around it but what it does is when you have your location on your phone or and you're driving around to places or you're visiting stores eating um, searching the internet through Google or even watching videos on YouTube um, occasionally you'll get surveys that they'll send you and it's like a three question survey it takes literally like five seconds to complete and every survey you do uh, they actually give you money and it's not very much sometimes it's like five cents ten cents up to like a dollar sometimes so the one thing I can tell you is um, looking through the notes and everything as well in Google that if you are not honest on the surveys they'll stop sending you ones so instead of getting one every couple days or once a week uh, they won't send you one for like a month so it's pretty useless but I've had the app for about four months now and I was just over seven dollars and the cool thing with mobile is it allows you to buy um, your bonds through your Google Play account so with that credit being on there I was able to purchase a bond that way and it's not a great way to do anything to sustain your account because it took me like four months of answering surveys to get a bond but I thought it was cool to just kind of put that on here and you know be able to boost my account a little bit uh, regarding MTX I'm not a fan of it uh, RS3 has been destroyed by MTX to where you can just pretty much max an account but it cost a fortune but you can do it um, so I don't purchase stuff on my own money for the games um, like this raid game that everybody's promoting on their channels uh, saying they're sponsored by them uh, that game is absolutely atrocious for MTX you load up the game to try to play it and you get like five offers right off the bat of them trying to sell you stuff so not a fan of games like that but since it was free money I figured why not um, it helped me boost the account and I don't need membership since I have the Premier Club, so that was easy. But from the last um, episode here, I really wasn't that boosted with levels. But since then, I've done five Slayer tasks, so I got um, now I'm able to get Slayer points. I did some rune crafting. I bought some planks and did a bunch of construction. And I don't like doing construction, but I know that it's going to be super beneficial to get that up for the teleports and stuff like that. Uh, I bought like 250 dragon bones to get my prayer up to 45, so now I have the mystic might prayer, or whatever it is here. Ah, Razor, go away. Uh, yeah, mystic might, and then I have all the protection prayers as well as eagle eyes, so that will help out severely, um, because I want to go do dragon slayer today, so that's going to happen, and also complete all the free-to-play, so just dragon slayer and prince Ali. Get those done, and that'll be it. So that's all I really did. I got herb lore levels. I got like 10 more. Still not that great, but um, I just used some money from that bond to get my levels up a little bit. I did some farming, and that's about all I really did. But as you can see, now I'm up to 5.72 mil because I sold the bond for right over 4.6, I think, and I had like 800k in the bank. So I've been just slowly upgrading my stuff. I haven't done really any mining besides some other load maw for a while. I did wood cutting and I did a bunch of fletching just to kind of get that evened out a little bit with the rest of my skills. Did a lot of fishing, got some food now so we're good to go. Um, I made a crap ton of teleports. Uh, I sold, I made like a hundred of each and sold 50 of each and almost broke even so that was awesome. And then just some combat potions and then picked up some herbs from doing the slayer tasks that I had so all in all, not too bad of a deal. I'll take 4.6 mil for literally none of my money whatsoever because 
I wasn't going to use the Play Store rewards for anything else that I can imagine because I don't play that many mobile games. So I was like, why not just throw it on here? So yeah, um, definitely check it out. I can leave a link in the description for it because I know I can share it with friends, but I really don't think there's any benefit of me sharing it with anybody. I don't think there's any rewards. So it's just, uh, hey, here you go. Try this out. It's free money. It takes a while, but it's still free. So <laughs> that's about it for that. So yeah, guys, um, just wanted to let you guys know that. I thought it was pretty sweet. That boosted me up a lot. And now I'm at 40 attack, so once I'm done with Dragon Slayer, I should get a decent amount of strength and defense levels from that. And uh, pretty much go from there. I want to do Dig Site as well. Apparently Fossil Island is really good. Um, secondary moneymaker doing like the Volcanic Ash. And uh, the Crabs are really good. AFK XP. So I might do some of that. And then I know I want to go get Graceful eventually, even though I absolutely hate agility. But I'll probably get the Graceful outfit. And I don't know yet. Keep going from there. I uh, really like doing Slayer. 666 remaining. What a number there. Um, so I'll probably go do some more Slayer. Uh, Hunter. I'll probably get that up and maybe do some room crafting. But I don't know. I definitely want to get range up as well too. So I'm going to do the Dwarf Cannon quest. Not sure what level you have to be to use a cannon. I don't think there is a level. So I'm definitely going to get a cannon for Slayer as well. And get my range up so then I can buy a bow pipe at some point and start going to town. So yeah guys, um, I will see you back when I'm done doing some quests. Alright, that was a little harder than I expected. Um, I was like, yeah, I should be able to mage him real easily with you know death runes, but even with an anti-fire and an anti-dragon shield, I was still getting smacked pretty hard. But there we go, there is Dragon Slayer complete with a whole two lobsters left in my inventory. <laughs> that was good, that was good. But this strength and defense should put me really close to 40 and 40. Let's see where it puts us here. Yeah. That's 40 strength and 39 defense. So we should be like really close. So we need 1k more defense XP and then we can get our rune plate bodies on and we are money wow only 520 magic XP left too watch at this we're gonna smoke this skeleton right yeah There's some skelly but yeah so that is dragon slayer done and then we're gonna do Prince Ali rescue and that'll be done and we will be finished with the free to play quest so I'll see you here soon Alright boys, and there we go. Our first achievement complete. We have completed Prince Ali Rescue Quest, giving us nothing. But that entails all of the free-to-play quests. So we are done with those. And now it's time for bigger and better things. A shit ton of members quests. <laughs> I also did the Enter the Abyss uh, mini quest. I forgot to mention that. I think. I don't remember. I did or not but uh, yeah so there's that that is done now we can start working on all the fun quests and I know I want to do a couple more that have bosses so then I can try this nightmare zone thing out to get some easy XP so but for now I am gonna go get a slayer task I think and I'm going to try to get uh, 40 defense real quick and get some rune armor Alright, here we go, coming in with 40 defense, so now we can wear our rune armor. So I'm going to finish this cow fight task and uh, go get my rune, yeah, party time. Alright guys, coming in with another quest, we are finishing up the dig site, and that quest sucked. Just a lot of running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth holy moly but we got her done 15,000 mining 2,000 herb lore two gold bars that gave me 43 mining and 41 herb lore so now I can get a rune pick wow 55 mining remaining XP remaining so I have 44 here in a second and we can do 
Blast Mine. Two more levels to Granite. And Volcanic Mine with 150 kudos. And I want to say that is what is on the Fossil Island thing. So I might do the dig site stuff to get the 150 kudos. I'm going to have to look into it a little bit because I'm not really sure how that works right now. So, yeah, what do we get for Herblor? I don't think anything new. Nope. Once we get 45, we'll be golden and start making super attacks. So, yeah. Alrighty. Well, there's another quest done. Add to the list. All right, here we are coming in with Bon Voyage Quest. So we now have access to Fossil Island. Very nice. Maybe something different here. and Kind of get to explore this since I've actually never been here before. So I'm going to go check some stuff out. All right, coming in with another quest complete. We are finishing the Dwarf Multi Cannon quest. So now I can make cannonballs, buy a Dwarf Cannon, all that fun stuff. Just got to get my range up, though. So, uh, there we go. 750 crafting XP and use of the multi-cannon. Another one down. Alright. So, I decided to do Plague City. So I can get this freaking Ardune teleport scroll done. And then I'm going to go do the other quest that's here that you need for the achievement diaries. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head to get to the combat area. So, do I get a mining level? No, I didn't get a mining level. But, then I'm going to do that so I can go and enter this combat academy, I think it is. Oh yeah, the combat training camp. And then once I'm done with that, oh, biohazard, that's it. And then once I can do that, then I can finish the Ardune diary and get the Ardune keep so I have easy teleports. So, that's my next one. All right, coming in with biohazard being complete. Da -da -da, dun -da 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 the corrupt king that I'm gonna kill at some point. Can't remember what quest that is. All right, three quest points, thieving XP, and I can go to the combat training camp and get that knocked out. Then I just have to go kill some ham members, get some rusty swords, do the fisher trawler, fishing trawler minigame, and then get back off the boat, finish that, go to Yanil, and we are done with the easy diary. So I'm going to go try to do all that real quick and should get that done. All right, so we're going to talk to this drunk lady and uh, we're going to finish the easy diary. That was pretty, pretty easy. All right, Artie Cloak 1, and an XP lamp, which I'm not sure what I'm going to use that on yet. So yeah, um, my goal now is I'm going to go get 51 magic so I can make Teletabs. I just bought 500 clay and uh, wah runes, so I'm going to do house teleports until I hit 51. Should be able to get it fairly quickly. It might take a little bit, but either way, it's still easy money to make, so gonna do that until I hit 51 and then earlier I did a bunch of wood cutting I got like 500 teak logs like 300 mahogany logs 500 oak logs so I'm going to get to 59 wood cutting use an axe man and get into the wood cutting guild once I do the favor which is fairly quick and then I'm going to run all those into planks and then sell like two-thirds of them so I'm pretty much breaking even on the costs and then I'm going to use the rest of those to get my construction up so hopefully I can get a glory mounted which will save me a lot of money until I can get a uh, hero's quest done I think it's heroes so I can get that done and then once I have the hero's quest done then I can just recharge glories instead of wasting like 1k every time I buy a new one so that's my plan. I think I'm going to go do the magic part now. Shouldn't take too, too long. And uh, just keep grinding out random stuff. And then I got some quests I want to do yet for some easy XP. But uh, I do want to train range up because that's really killing me that it's so low. Maybe go do some hunter and some runecrafting. But 
I haven't decided yet. So we're going to keep working and uh, yeah, but free teleports is going to be quite nice. So, but yeah, I'll be back here later. All right. So we're going to go talk to the cleric here and we're going to turn in these 950 buckets and bam, we should have a hundred. So, Ocidia's favor is done, so we have access to Tith Farm and the Woodcutting Guild and all that. So after that 10, actually probably like a half hour of Corporal Tunnel uh, making those compost things, we are done with this one. And I might go do the library just to get Archaeus up because it doesn't seem like it's too difficult. So uh, we'll be back here later. All right. Well, for some reason, my OBS decided to be stupid and freak out and only record for like two seconds. But we got 100% Archaeus favor done. So now we're going to go and get the spellbook and stuff. And then we're going to make some teletabs so we can actually teleport to certain places. And I think that'll help out. So I'm going to do that. Alright, here we go. We're talking to uh, King of Boren Land here. And we are going to be finishing up the Trinum Village quest. And then I plan on also doing uh, Gnome Stronghold as well as Lost City. Because um, once I hit 70 combat, I can start using the Xanaris uh, Slayer Master and all that fun stuff. So I figured I'd get this thing done. Because the easy peasy attack and the spirit trees are nice, especially when I use other people's houses. Um, when I'm doing quests and stuff, I tend now to just take house teleports with me and go to the house world so I can just kind of teleport anywhere super fast. So, yeah, I figured I would get um, at least the spirit trees done, make it a little bit easier to get on to some of the cr like really crappy parts of the map. Um, I do want to do the quest to get the Ecto file as well, so that way I have pretty much a really wide range to go. So, there we go with this, um, whatever the gnome amulet is for. And that brought us up from 41 to 44 attack. So, 2700 off of 45, but I know uh, Gnome Stronghold also gives a really really large amount of attack XP like 18k or something so um, I will be doing that but I think that'll be it for this episode got a lot of stuff done uh, this week and if you can't tell I'm kind of sick so I've been just playing on mobile a lot and just kind of grind out a lot of levels finally figured out how to do uh, birdhouses I watched a video on that today and got all the areas unlocked for birdhouses so I got up to 22 hunter I did a lot of construction, like I said, that I had all those um, logs. I got 59, got into the woodcutting guild with an Axeman's Folly. I made like 1,500 planks and started using all of those, except for the mahogany ones because I don't have access to those yet. But I got up to 44 construction, and I might just go and spend a bunch of money, like maybe 500k or something, and buy a bunch of oak planks and just do larders until I can hit 50. Because once I hit 50, that'll help me out a lot. Because then I can build the portal and have the three different um, portal teleports. As well as having the mounted glory. And I can upgrade my lectern so I can start making house teleports. You know, uh, sell off what it would be to break even and keep the rest kind of thing. So that way I can just teleport to my house. Or if I'm in, you know, the Gilded Altar world. I can just teleport outside my house, jump into one of theirs, and heal up and do all that stuff. So that's my goal here coming up. I've been doing a little bit of farming. Um, when I have the chance to, I always forget about farm runs and herb runs. And I need to start doing ranged. Um, I want to figure out how the cannon works, if it scales off your range level, or if it just has a set hit before I just go waste a bunch of cannonballs and uh, not get very much XP for range. So... Might just go get a bow and kind of smack out some uh, range there. Get that level up just a hair because I know range is definitely important for when I want to try to get up to doing Zora and all that. So, but yeah, uh, I bought my Mystic gear. Figured I'd get a little upgrade. And then I also got like a Mist and um, 
mud battle staffs to make teleport tabs a little easier and a little cheaper but I was going to get a smoke battle staff until I realized that it's absolutely expensive for no reason so I decided to go against that for now but uh, that'll be all for this one and I will see you guys in the next one